This is the solution to written homework 15. <coughs> so, uh, find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. All right. Well, the x-intercept The algebraic condition for this is when y is 0. So we'll plug in y is 0. That would be 3x. And, and that y is 0. So minus 3 over 5 is negative 2. So that would be 3x is 3 over 5 minus 2. So 3x is, well, <coughs> that would be uh, 3 over 5 minus 10 over 5. So 3 minus 10, that's negative 7. <coughs> over 5. So x is um, negative 7 over 15. And therefore, the x-intercept, because an, an intercept is a point, is the point negative 7, 15, comma, 0. <coughs> the algebraic condition for a y-intercept That is when x is 0. <clears throat> okay, So we'll plug this in. Uh, we'll plug x is 0 into there. So that would be 0 and then minus <clears throat> 2 thirds y minus 3 fifths is negative 2. <clears throat> So that would be negative 2 thirds y is equal to, well, we already added 3 fifths uh, to negative 2 and found that to be negative 7 fifths. So now we want to solve for y. Well, dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So that would be um, negative 3 halves multiplied by negative 7 fifths. So the negatives cancel, uh, and that's 21 over 10. And therefore, the y-intercept is the point 0 comma 21 over 10. <coughs> Let's solve for y in terms of x. Okay, <coughs> so here's y and all the x's over there, so I'll move that 4 to the other side. So that would be negative 2x plus 3 plus 4 is half y. So negative 2x plus 7 is half y. And then I want to have y all by itself with a coefficient of 1. So I'll multiply everything by 2. 2 negative 2x plus 7 is y because half times 2 is 1. I'll distribute that 2 in. Negative 4x plus 14 is y. So if you like, usually, when you're solving for something, you write it on the left. So y is negative 4x plus 14.